Hey, yo, hey, yo, what it do, what it do? It's your boy, man, your big homie, your country, Kenfo. It's your boy, Wise, man. We back in Wise World Universe. Got another video for you today. Today, we got a dev update, finally, from Saber Interactive, man. Even dead the game, man. Hopefully, they're going to be addressing some things. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet, but we're going to check it out together, see what we got. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. Dev's update on something in the works. Hello, survivors and demons. We wanted to share with you some updates and some current conversations we are seeing in the community in response to top feedback left by you on our feedback portal. Yeah, sure. We'll see about that. Anyway, first thing, demon feels nerfed. We are actively looking at ways to improve several areas of balancing for demons in our next patch. We'll explain this in much more detail closer to the release, but know we're working to make it feel better. That does not make me feel better at all, Saber. In fact, it it, it really doesn't. A, a date, you know, and some specifics would be better. But whatever, we'll keep it vague. Moving on. Too many cars, too many vehicles. About damn time. This has been the subject of many discussions with both demons and survivors recently. We agree with you and plan to reduce the number of vehicles on the map as a whole. Also... Players try to when players try to use the book to block the Necronomicon, which is so fucking annoying and cheesy. And if you do it, you're trash. The car will take will receive consistent damage until destroyed. Okay, that sounds like a cool little fix, but I'd have to see it in action nonetheless. I'm really main, my main concern is this, this right here, because this 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 is this is the this this they they gotta they gotta do better. But anyway, we're gonna keep moving on. Moving on, we got objective spawns. In the next patch, we're going to increase the minimal distance in between objectives so that you don't have them spawning really close to one another. Also, when the demon is expelled from an objective, we'll spawn the demon close to the next objective so the demon can opt to start preparing for survivors or spend the time traveling across the map. Ah, well, that seems fair. Item drop exploit. All right, survivors, I'm looking at you. I, I ran into this a lot the last couple of days with the, uh, with the cheese. I didn't even know this was a thing until later. But, you know, you got shimp, amulet, drop exploits going around and all type of stuff. So, it looks like they're trying to address that. We found the issue and we'll apply fix in our next patch. Okay, that's cool. Extended queues. In our last patch, we merged both West and East Coast servers, deployed a central base server. We saw improvement at the time, however, recently we've seen a longer queues for Survivor. We're actively looking at ways to help to decrease the time you spend in queue. Stay tuned. I know a way. Bring the Demon Survivors back. Make Demon feel like it's worth playing. Just a side note. Yeah, look, there's a solution right there, Saber. Tighten up. Anyway. Going on down, we got anti-cheating reporting players. We've seen a, sp a spike in cheating recently and have been diligently working to remove all these players from matchmaking and patch the cheats they're using. Thank you for all the reports. Each one over fixed, blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, it's good to know they're at least trying to do that because, I mean, it's like when you report somebody, you don't hear nothing else about it. And there's so much cheating going on right now. Like, I mean, in the last two or three nights... I ran into a cheater or two at least every night for the last like three nights in a row. And it's ridiculous. I never ran into cheaters this bad. Anyway, moving on. What else is in the season pass? Season pass owners will get the classic bundle, Army of Darkness bundle, outfits which are available now. Also, two upcoming DLC packs featuring new characters, outfits, and more. Progression and prestige system. We heard you. We're in the early stages of evaluating a new approach to progression in the game. Stay tuned. Okay, so that's good. So season pass, I don't know. They just really need to tell everybody what's in that because I don't get why they're doing it, keeping it so secretive. I just I don't understand it. I genuinely don't. Like, they're being so super duper 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 secretive about that. I don't know why. But before they drop any new survivors or any new demons, they need to balance the game. But at this point, they probably need to try to do both. Because the numbers are dropping. They're dwindling. Uh, you know, me and a couple of other guys are kind of like the few demon mains who are still streaming the game. So they got to tighten up. And the prestige system would give players a reason to come back and play. So that, to me, makes 
a hundred percent sense and probably should have been in the game from the start. But I don't think they thought about you know people playing the game the way they're playing it now. Because I would love to actually have like a win loss ratio or counter where I know exactly how many wins and exactly how many losses I have. Like I would love to be able to see that. Like I would love to be able to see my stats at the end of games, knowing like I got a win. I've won this way this many times and this way and all that. You know what I mean? How many kills I've gotten and you know all that. It'll be nice. So here's looking at you, Saber. Tighten up. Give us that. All right. Anyway, sorry I was ranting a little bit there. Next DLC, we actually have something for this very soon. Stay tuned. Keep an eye on our socials. We would also like to consider uh, your opinions or her collective, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, I mean, overall, this they, they were very vague. So, I'm not really too keen on it right now because they were so vague. They seem to be very vague. Like, saying that we're looking at ways for balancing the demon in our next patch really isn't telling us shit. I can give you two easy ways. Fix balance bar damage back to where it was and bring back early game possession across the board. That That's a start. That's a start. Because y'all nerfed early game possession to say, oh, well, we wanted to be fair. We didn't want matches ending quickly. But ever since they've done that, all survivors do now is rush, rush objectives and still try to end the game in 10 minutes rather than us using early game possession and ending it in 5 or 10 minutes, which is the same, equivalently, the same thing. So let's get it together, Saber. But either way, these are your notes. If you want to see them, you know, check their Twitter, check the Reddit. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what it do with that. We'll, like I said, they were really vague. I ain't really cool with the vagueness of it, but it is what it is, man. Hopefully, they get everything together and get some of this all this cheesy shit out the game so we can enjoy it. Pardon my French. But, anyway, Wise World, man, we in the building. Y'all already know. Go straight like that right there, man. I appreciate y'all. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. In the meantime, between time, y'all hold it in the road, man. Don't forget, we streaming on Twitch every day. Twitch TV dash Wise World Universe. We in the building. Y'all. Y'all holding in the road, man. Wise, man. Out 100.